What up, everybody? Hope everyone watching this in the future is having a great day. Hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend. Let's get right into it. Our first box. I have peeked at two of them, you can see. We'll look at those first. These are exciting. I've been waiting a long time for these, so I had to check it out and make sure it was what I was hoping it was. This one is a itty bitty. It's not that itty bitty, actually. Reveal Aquamarine. It's pretty big, actually. It's definitely one of the biggest Aquamarines I've ever held. If I ever pulled this out of ocean view, I'd be skipping all the way home. Very, very cool. This is, uh, I don't know, this is awesome. This is a big step for me, getting into aquas and some nicer, more expensive minerals. God, it's so pretty. I love the termination. It's the way aqua terminates is so nice. It's just a really, really beautiful termination. They like, uh, I don't know, they just come up in these perfect kind of towers and then at the top you get these little bevels right on the edges. And those bevels are what, those little corner bevels are what I love about aqua. And then the flat cap, I really like flat caps. Like, when a, uh, when a crystal terminates to like a flat top and then has some kind of facing wrapping around the edge, it's just so incredible. Naturally, it just doesn't seem real. <sighs> and that flat face is like a window that just lets you look down the entire, you know, the longest traveling part of the crystal. This is different. <laughs> this is not aquamarine. Man, imagine it was. Whew. Now, <laughs> even though it's not, look at that. That is a big piece of kunzite. I think it's been Wow. Wow. Let me make sure my top camera is getting. This show as well. Hmm. It's really not doing a great job. I guess I gotta kind of be high up. That makes sense. It's better for that one as well. Well, that is. Uh, the biggest piece of kunzite I've ever held. Wow, just such weird stuff happening inside. I don't even know how to describe that. But when you look at, you see that? It completely goes away. It's like there's nothing there, and then all of a sudden there's these, right here, there's these completely blocking the light flakes it looks like, almost, uh, and they're even blue that, they're reflecting, see them? Yeah, but then they just go away. Whoa, that is interesting. Um, and actually, when I'm looking at it, they're not at all flakes, they're windows of clarity. Uh, they're spots where it's absolutely see through where it's not elsewhere or there's spots where 
it maintains the same clarity even when the change in the grain or whatever affects the other spots. It becomes hard to see through most of it except those holes. Those are actually windows you can see deeper or clear through. That's not a black spot. It's a clear spot. <clears throat> that is wild. So, oh, there's one more that I opened. <clears throat> from this pack. So there's gonna be another one of these, or maybe two. I hope this is two of these. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Anyway, we pretend I just unboxed this. Good God. Look at that. I'm. A, this one's, I'm almost nervous to touch even a lot of it. Some of that mic is so, uh, it's strong actually. It's not even that, but it's, as a mineral, it's not a strong mineral, and handling it and touching it over and over it will surely eventually affect it. That's what I'm saying. So, we're gonna handle this one as little as possible while giving you a nice view of it real quick. This is gonna go on a good base and stay that way for a while, so that's gonna go over here. That is a stunning piece of mica and aqua. So cool. Now we're caught up to where I actually have looked and the rest of this is 100% new to me and you. So we're getting the genuine, holy crap experience. I have a solution for this. One moment, I'm trying to fix this top camera to be a better perspective. Oh, that's a lot better. Perfect. Alright. Then we go. A little baggie. Put that there. Save the bubble. Just a bubble down here for now. I feel like what they do is they actually wet this stuff just a little bit and then they wrap it. Oh, this is tiny. This is probably going to be an aqua if it's this tiny. No? Maybe? Oh. Oh. These are from the same person. Wow. This is a little quartz with green tourmaline inclusions. Uh, it is not quartz all the way around, which is why it's not insanely expensive, probably. But uh, it is still an absolutely stunning piece from the front. That's amazing. Wow. wow. Oh, that's a good one. Beautiful, wow. Oh, there's pieces just inside too that didn't make it out any direction that are just in there. Oh, man. That is pretty, that's so cool. Unexpected, that's a surprise to me. That was cool, fun. All right, let's see. So much little dust going in the air from this, it's kind of... I, I, that's why I don't like uh, toilet paper. Oh my god. <laughs> this, oh my god, is another Kunzite. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
I want to show you, but I want to look at it too. You're going to have to wait a moment. Sorry. Oh my goodness. Look at that termination. That tells me that that termination. I wasn't sure at first when I was looking at this one because my, my Kunzai that I found at uh, Ocean View terminates very like spiky like very sporadic it's not a smooth termination it's kind of it's a lot more like this side of this one it's many terminations i guess you would say but these two have the same i want to say that's natural i'm not a super expert you know it's possible that it like gets cut and smoothed and then like chemically treated to pit it and make it not perfect. I don't know. That would be my guess of like a way to make it not, to make it the closest to natural would be to probably chemically mess with it. Any which way. I don't have any reason to really suspect it is other than I'm just skeptical about everything. They didn't say like, oh, these are cut, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't say these aren't cut. They also didn't sell them as terminated. They just... They just were advertised as Kunzite at their weight, essentially. And, uh, oh my god, that's fine with me. For all I know, maybe down the line I do cut something out of this. Wow. There's a window in this that is so pretty. I don't know if, see it? Yeah, you can see it. Right, right there. That window of clarity is... Amazing, look at that. Wow. Wow. Uh, the white base of this one makes it really hard to look deep into it, but man. Oh, I was like, is that affecting it? Yes, yes it is, quite a bit. Wow, that's a big gnarly kunzite. I'm spoiling myself with stuff from Afghanistan and Pakistan while I dig at Ocean View where it's, you know, we're limited and it's difficult. It's not a foreign country where they're just, A, have a lot more room and a lot more going on and many, 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 many more mines, but also uh, many, 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 many less regulations. Ocean View is a hobby mine. That's why I'm allowed to go there and be a part of it. But, uh, I mean, I consider myself one of the luckiest people on the planet to be able to go do that. The fact that I have tourmaline and kunzite and aquamarine and quartz and morganite and all the spotamines and everything else in a mountain two hours south of me that any time I can go pay to safely under the supervision of professionals and with the advice of professionals go sit there and uh, have them even direct me where to dig and uh, you know make sure I get in and out alive and don't fall down the side of a mountain or drop a rock on my own head or somebody else do it Ooh, this is gonna be another aqua and mica combo. Ooh, not as insane as that other one. That dude, the, that one is just. Oh, that is a really nice aqua that's in there, though. It's pretty, so that kind of makes up for it being a smaller, less crazy piece. But let's look at that. That's beautiful. glassiness of that. Aquamarine has such just, to me, seemingly random, unique, cool shapes. Like Aquamarine's just like, I'm gonna get big in whatever direction I feel like it, and uh, I'm gonna terminate really nicely eventually whenever I feel like it, and we'll just make it work with everybody else that's also doing the same thing. And in the end, we'll come together with some freaking sweet, insane. 
many face terminations. Look at that. Hold on. There's one big face, but where they all come together, there's like eight faces. Just they just make it work. It's insane. Where is it? Right here is where I'm trying to catch a reflection. Oh, there we go. Give me the other ones. Oh. Well, oh, I saw a couple go. It's another stunner. It's another great piece. This one's probably going to be for sale. So, uh, I mean, I guess if you're interested in it, you can go ahead and DM me, but also, um, it's probably just gonna be in my first like live sale. Beautiful. All right, that's the end of the first box. I guess I'm just gonna stick this buddy over here for now. I'm so happy with that, and this piece is now a. Uh, this piece is now my, you know, one of my personal bests. Um, it's. My personal best specimen for aquamarine and mica, either or, and both. Uh, do you see that little cluster right there too? It's a little cluster right in the middle that's so cool, and then just the monster over here. Oh, it's, it's incredible. There's actually probably another aquamarine. There may be another aquamarine lot in here of just crystals. Um, we'll see. Let's get into it. This is actually enough where it's almost uh, gonna take a while. Let me get stuff out of boxes out of you. Um, these people send me stuff a lot. These are always really good too, I think. So, looks big. Jeez. so funny I was like I opened it up and I was like oh weird I was like okay so I, it looks like I bought a little uh, a little plate with two blue cubes two or three blue cubes and it's actually cool now that I look at it more it's actually really cool it's it's a plate with a really light smoky druzy across it a quartz druzy holy crap a quartz druzy and then a cube druzy, and then a couple large cubes, right? So my first thought was just like, oh, okay, that's not as crazy as I thought it was, but that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't expect myself to buy a, a plate with just two little cubes, but upon further inspection, that is amazing, and I'm more than happy with it. Now, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> so on the other side, it's got the proper sized druzy with no little cubes in the druzy, just just a hundred percent druzy and then blue cube. Where why would you change focus? Camera, please. Thank you. Oh my god, but this this is now I don't know what side's cooler. This has to be mounted standing up. Uh this way. And I guess it actually, it's been cut to do that. Uh, it's got a cut on the bottom. So this can, can and will display this way so you can see both sides. I am, I'm obsessed with the Jersey side. The cube Jersey mixed on top of the smoky Jersey. Can you see it? There's hundreds of little cues. I'm not talking about the two big guys. But little cubes on little smoky jersey and then smoky jersey on the other side. All right, amazing. Another really good piece. Like I said, everything I get from that, that guy is amazing. Happy every time. Oh. 
I gotta get faster at opening these, huh? Sorry, guys. Um, okay. This is, I think they call it sugar. Um, it's another cube with like, it's a blue cube with a purple phantom. And uh, this, I believe, is what we're calling sugar. Sugar something. See the sparkle, the sugary glitter. I don't want to touch it because it's really just like a, it's like a druzy. It's got like a really light druzy over it. It's also there. You definitely see that in here. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. So that same little sparkle you're seeing in there is also purple and up here. Weird. It's a cool bunch of little cubes. I like it. It's a nice little cluster with a, a really nice forward standing one and a bunch of intersecting like kind of 20 cube action going on. Just cubes and cubes. It's cool. Cool. Always happy with that. <clears throat> um... Same person, let's do that. Another, another, another one. Just opening the, the part with the, oh man. This has a lot, okay. Okay, interesting. It's nice when you, it's fun when you're ordering stuff from like China, so it takes weeks and weeks to get there. So by the time you get it, you can't really remember what you got because you just got a lot of lot of stuff and you're waiting weeks and weeks and then you go on vacation for Memorial Day weekend and you come back and you've got a, uh, the post office is like, dude, uh, you're going to need this. Like, oh, okay, I see. Over the course of the last six weeks, everybody scheduled all their stuff to come at the exact same day while I was away. And this morning, somebody freaking robbed, uh, somebody uh, broke in a bunch of mailboxes in my neighborhood and the cars. And uh, I'd come back and had my bikes and stuff in the back of my truck in the driveway, but I backed it like right up to my front doors. Be very difficult and you'd basically be like, you wouldn't be able to unload the bikes. You have to just send them off into my front door. And uh, it wouldn't work anyway. Anyway, my point is, it's madness out there. And all these packages could have showed up. And imagine those f, f faces showed up. And all of this, imagine they walked up to this. Oh my God. Dude, they would have been having a field day. Jesus Christ. But... Uh, I also got uh, them their car and everything on camera, so at some point today I have to go share that with all of them because I just got word of it all. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like me rushing over there and giving them a picture of it matters right now, so they should have had their cameras working too. But I watched them look at my shit and decide not to. Good decision. So this is just a cool little blue cubic and uh, add it to the collection. That's gonna, that's gonna go for sale eventually. You can expect to see that in my fluorite live sale that I'm building up to. I, I wanna have like a good sale, you know? I wanna have a good amount of specimens and a nice variety and I want it to be like a, just a good, it'll be a good half now. Be fun, something different. Not different, but just. Better. Better than average. That's where we start. Memorable, that's what we strive for. Oh, this is gonna be cool and totally different. Man, I just get a lot of stuff from this guy. 
This is a funky bot. Oh man. I think this is a Azurite and Maybe Malachite? I think and it doesn't look like that, but I thought that that's what I bought. So I'm gonna say that this is some kind of funky Azurite maybe? And I will get this right and figure it out later and probably do some pictures and stuff. So look look for it on my uh, on my feed, some close-ups. Man, I gotta start doing just close-ups of specimens and stuff again. I just haven't had time to even do anything. So this is cool, this is really cool. This is, is part of my forward learning for minerals and whatnot. I've just been buying things that I don't know what it is and that I'm sitting here explaining to you that I don't know what it is because the way that I learn best is to get it in my hands and have to actually look at it, observe it, feel it. You know, it's the rocks are something that I feel like you really want to hold to to understand, you know, and uh, I know not everybody can do that, but um, I'm going to try to do that in a way where I buy them and hold them and understand them and learn and share them and then sell them and then you can do the same thing, you know? And maybe this rock will uh, will educate a, a hundred people and it's thousands of years that it travels the world and... I mean, this just came from the other side of the world. Somebody else was just holding this over there and, you know, feeling some sort of way about it. I usually buy fluorite from this guy, so, yep. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh boy. Where's that flashlight? Did I bury the flashlight? It's unbelievable that I could lose that here, but I can. Okay, so, we've got a nice little, like, corner chunk of fluorite, corner of a cube, you know? But, What's special about it, or why I bought it, is because I believe it's got a nice, and it does, a nice chunky bicolor in there. I want to get into cutting, or, no, I'm not saying I'm gonna cut or polish this, but I potentially want to get into cutting and polishing and making some just absurd gems, some just crazy big, pretty gems, some cool, unique, uh, unconventional. I'm gonna make some unconventional gems out of beautiful fluorite or just large stones that aren't extremely expensive. They're affordable to be large like this. Like this is not, it could be expensive. It'd probably be expensive if I tried to buy it just outright as it is, but oh, that's really pretty. That is a win. Wow. Cool texture too, can you see it? Oh, there you go. Oh, man. <sighs> that ice blue is so wild. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. amazing. I have not held and looked at a piece of fluorite. That crystal ice blue with a deep phantom inside that could create something like that. Yeah, this is this is a first this is the first in hand for me. Look at that. Oh my god. Watch this. From the blue to the purple. Oh my Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Another win. Man, I gotta stay hydrated after this weekend. 
I'm a, I'm a little bit burnt. I'm not trying to flex, so I'm just showing you how wrecked I got this weekend. <laughs> I'm in bad shape. My my knees, which I should not be sitting here leaning on, are so red. Oh, and I also smashed the hell out of my shin on the dirt bike. That was the uh, lost my shoe video, if you saw it. Getting out in the wilderness ain't easy. It certainly doesn't cost you that unless you're goofing off on a dirt bike. But, uh, you know, go hard, life is short. Ooh, okay. So this is just a big octo. Oh, this is a big bicolor octo. Oh, it's pretty. It's uh, green and purple, but man, is it serious with its color. Look at that. Wow, that's, oh, that swirl is nuts. That's why we got this uh, bouncy mat. Though it did slop some Sharpie pen around. Pretty sure it bossed the Sharpie pen, but... Oh, man. Wow, those lines disappear and become solid. Oh, this is a good-looking Octo. Nuts. Wow. Wow. Good, 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 good. Man, and that's the biggest one I have too, because these these were my biggest before, so it's not a lot bigger, but it is bigger. Um, yeah, this is how we'll actually get a better look at that on, please. Let's go to the grams. 21, 31. So one third bigger, basically, which is a lot. It doesn't look like a lot though, huh? Next to each other. They look surprisingly similar. One third really, uh, really gets to be in a lot quick when you're talking expanse in all directions. Cool. Wow. Another one. I'm terrible at waving, sorry. I didn't know that that was my wave button. I thought that was you waving at me. That's how bad I am at this. Oh, another Octo. Okay, there may be three Octos. This might be one also. I think I remember buying a three Octo lot now that uh, we're this far with it. Uh, so this one's just green. Uh, that's cool. It's a big boy. It's now my, my largest green Octo, so... Uh, I like that. It looks like it broke and healed. That's cool. I appreciate some break and healage. And, uh... Oh, this is gonna tell me so much. This has... This has the dodecahedron phantoms that mine have. In this shattered... Octo. I'm 99% certain now that these kind of Octos break out of seam with many of each other. Just packed like like a block of like a pound breaks into this formation and they're just face to face. You know, wherever this face is, there's another Octo that has the opposite face but it could be wrong but the reason I believe that is because this shape would form from it being like this on its host on its base because I've got caps that are like exactly that man not right in front of me but around so this would have been the wall 
and then from the wall, just a stack of these would have come out broken like that. Whatever was here would have just been a shattered half a triangle, and same there. Let me see if I can show you the face that... See those phantoms there, the lines? It's weird. I don't know. Someday I'm gonna see an octahedron come out of the earth. Like that, a floater. So they say. Yep, here's the other one. So they give you one, and then a couple. <laughs> So the cool thing about this one is it has that purple in it and it's, because of the way fluorite works, is this color is more about a, a change in the structure than it is about a change in a material, right? Uh, kinda? I don't know what I wanna say. Anyway, the reason I say that is because when you get over here, it's almost invisible. It is invisible, look, it's gone. It's just a green octo, no purple, right? And then all of a sudden you get to be in over here and you're like, oh, there's a pretty significant amount of purple in there, actually. And I can see it from almost everywhere, right? But you can't, because when you get on a certain spot, all of a sudden it's not the right refraction anymore. Oh, it's just green again. Oh. So, cool, very cool. I'll probably sell one of these, I guess. We'll see. Maybe that one, maybe purple dot. Give me a bonus one, or maybe I bought four. I don't know. I thought I remembered buying three. Big boy with a really funky side, kind of a broken side on one side. Um, I both feel like that makes it kind of funky, and I also really like it because uh, it's unique. It's almost like it got decapitated and it healed back on. Uh, maybe that's a little bit gruesome, but you know what I mean. If you look at it, that's uh lost the head of its octo. You see that? Yeah, there you go. It lost the head of its octo and it really like, it appears to have healed it back. So I'm actually, I'm, I'm quickly converting to, I like this one a lot as uh, my best maybe specimen of a great example of healing. Look at that healing. Yeah, changed my mind. I like it. Now a fan. Hashtag when the crystal convinces you. Check this top here and I'll make sure. Oh, it's still recording, it's not. Must have like a 15 minute kill switch or something. All right. Something different? It's definitely something different. Yeah. See, I've been stockpiling these. I'm trying to get a nice, nice collection of these uh, quartz druzy smokies with the blue fluorite. So now this one's special too because this one actually has like significant quartz crystals all around that are also covered in a druzy. So you've got like, it looks like to me the Man, that's a beautiful cube. Look at the face of it, it's got the digital etching. It looks like to me the cube, the fluorite formed first, then big quartz druzy formed between, see it? There's a good example. Hello? There we go. And then after that, uh, Smoky Druzy stuck to the quartz and formed only on them. 
at least that's the order of operations that this is either formed or grown or whatever. Man, if this stuff is actually natural, it's freaking insane. Um, I've still yet to figure out where in the world exactly this is supposed to be from. What exactly? I mean, I know it's China somewhere, but I don't know. I haven't seen enough information to know what it is yet, or to believe it's a, a serious mine, but... I am obsessed with these. I don't care what the thing is making them. Where they come from, I want more. I mean, I do care, but I'm, I'm saying in, in my eyes, uh, <coughs> if those were to turn out to all be <coughs> cultured, I'd be like, great, tell me where I can buy them from the culture and give me lots more. And uh, can we do one on like, I don't know, can we just start putting them on cool stuff? All right, we got something different. New, uh, new, different seller, supplier, so. This should be interesting. This could be anything. Um, I buy a significantly large variety of stuff, especially in the last six weeks, because again, like I was saying, I'm trying to fast forward my education and do that through buying, uh, you know, affordable specimens to hold and learn from. All right. This is another piece of fluorite. Dodecahedrons. Light purplish gray. The clarity that is just unbelievable. Or wait, is this? Okay, I'm gonna still say fluorite octahedrons. For a second I thought it was that crazy, uh, I also bought some of this like calcite octahedron uh, I don't know it's this crazy thing doesn't really have a name I guess it's basically being named or I bought it based on like just descriptive words it's no like mineral name man this is a really pretty one though I've got one more that's similar to this that's uh, either that definitely comes from the same place and uh, some of my new favorite as far as like clarity and color goes Every time I look in these, I'm speechless. It's crazy. Wow. That's incredible. Um, I had more bags in my hand than I just showed to you. Wow. This one, I was just from the same people, but I can tell by their F L O. They write fluorite. They spell fluorite. F O O. Blue. Blue right. F O O. This is just a crystal clear. This is too fun. This is just a an absolutely gemmy, crystal clear cubic piece. <sighs> That's the most clear piece of green I've ever seen in my life, in person. And that big face, wow, can you see that? I don't know if you, it's almost so clear that I'm not sure if it's registering that there's a face in front of what you're looking at. There is a, there it is, that face. Wow. 
It's so clear. Another good one. Man, I'm gonna have a fluorite collection sale. We're getting there. This stuff is called, but it's so freaking cool. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, this stuff. All right, I gotta go Google it. Or not Google it, but I gotta look in my history. I bought it because I was like, it looks like wings. But. My understanding is these are these are natural growth. This is just as much a natural version of it as that wing or this what I'm calling a wing. It's like a demon's wing. Um, I can't look it up right now because it's on that phone. Well, I could look it up on my Here, let me grab my iPad. Magnesium or wave shape. Magnesium or wave. Interesting. Wow. They terminate up on that side. That's insane. But then on this side, it's like that crazy wing stuff. Dude, these are so cool. I can't get over how much that, that's a wing. I don't, to me, like, it's hard to believe this is not somebody's artwork. How is that not somebody's art? And this light is no chill. There we go, that's, that's really decent. Man. That is too cool. They're really light too, which is so weird. Let's do this as like a, just as a reference. So, oops, why is it on KG? It is nine grams as equivalent to, I bet this is heavier. Oh, four, okay. Bad, bad example. Uh, very light. I need something else that's nine grams that is significantly smaller so that you can see. Yeah, I'm assuming that's gonna be way too much. Okay, there we go. So those two pieces are equivalent to, to this. And this is some thicker, taller, everything. 
Those are each nine grams. It's very light. It feels like you're holding nothing. It feels like styrofoam. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. Uh, I don't like that bag for them. Uh, they are going to live individually and be protected from now on. Welcome to the good life, Magnesium. No more uh, being bagged and tossed around. All right, next one. Band action. Little styrofoam. That means it's probably delicate. Uh, yeah, magnesium, magnesium metal crystals. Yeah, spot on. Exactly. Sorry, I, I it's hard for me to read that. Or I actually probably just suck at it because I'm still learning. What is this? What is this? Formulated quartz? Oh, this is a this is a quartz with a crazy phantom. Uh, I forget what they call it, but it's a. Uh, I mean, I guess it's just a phantom, but it's a quartz. Was like a very predominant crystal inside of it. Like, can you see that? At the base is essentially like. Like a smoky, it's like there's a smoky quartz inside of the regular quartz. I don't know if you can see that in there, but. Can you see a, you can kind of see the point right inside this window, this most clear window, the very point of it. I feel like right there is the best view. That's cool, tiny little guy. Nice specimen, unique. What up, Momo? Maybe similar people. I was also at delay. Used to streaming. When I did stream, if I didn't change anything, then it would always give no delay, you know. But on Instagram, delay is standard apparently, which is weird because nobody's out here monitoring it. Dodecahedrons. Really pretty. Really well formed, like mirror faces. Glassy smooth, perfect reflection. You see that? Actually, this little smoky druzy, let me get up close. See it? Right there, and then down by my other finger, there's two little clusters of smoky druzy in there, too. That's super cool. I love that. That just kicked it up a lot. Anytime I get like a second specimen, especially like a nice little like flowery cluster like that, a little isolated cluster, it's almost the opposite. You expect to see like all druzy in like an isolated fluorite but instead you've got like a whole plate of fluorite and then some isolated little flowers of druzy oh there's some over here too actually on the back pretty that's cool these uh i'm gonna say these are actually coming out they're not from the same seller or the same source even but uh i'm gonna say these are coming from the same place even if both don't have that smoky they're very similar in their color, formation, and uh, 
their quality of, of uh, fluorite. Hmm. I believe. Perfect. This is a big light box. Let's see what it has to offer. Oh. Man, I hate these because you just don't know where the hell the top is even. How am I supposed to know how to... Oh, I nailed it. You guessed right. Sorry, this has got like giant addresses written all over it, so... I have to bear with me while I extract this center and, oh and also it is a mess so I'm gonna shit get stuff everywhere all right what's up guys and gals and everything else oh, I don't know why I can't wave that one 50 times but They wrap the heck out of this, so either they're just a business that wants to really make sure their stuff gets there, or something, uh, something a little fragile is in there. Things that are a little fragile or valuable. I like. What is it gonna? Oh, that's a surprise. Wow, this I bought a while ago and I've been waiting for it and I've never held or seen one of these before in person like this, so this is nuts. That is sulfur. Wow, look at how those crystals form though. They are so aggressive and so cool. Wow, wow, look at them. The color, I just happen to be wearing this, this shirt. I'm wearing the perfect shirt today. Oh my God, I am in love with this. This is my favorite at the moment. Oh my God, look at that color. The faces as they go by are so, they're just so well formed. Look at the mirror. Oh my God, I'm mind blown. My whole mind's gone. Wow. Sulfur, yeah, dude. What a stunning piece, though. Oh, man, I love those top ones. Dude, that is amazing. I don't even want to go to the next one because it's not going to be this. There's no way. I didn't buy more sulfur, so there's no way. I don't think, at least. There's no way I unbox another random sulfur. Dude, look at these two right here. There's like one and then a diamond in the middle and then another one that goes the opposite. Like a, it's like a, a like, like a double, like a DT kind of, but a, ah, oh, dude, it's sick. Wow. I'm gonna spend a lot of time just looking at this tonight. Oh, that is too freaking cool. It's too bright. It's just too bright. Man. Wow. That, I don't know, I feel like that should get its own thing or something. How do I even mount this? Go on its back? To me, this would stand. In my mind, this stands somewhere like something like this. They've kind of got this weird flat back on it that makes you want to put it down but I don't like down. I think I want to see this thing standing this way. Wow. Okay, let's see what else we got. We're not done. I don't want to put this somewhere special. I'm really, really mind blown by that. Maybe a couple of these. We'll, just, we'll give it this and I will just plop it up the way I said I want it background here. Oh, that's visible, right? Yeah, let's do 
that. Let's see if it stays in its little putty for now. That's not going to be its perma home, but uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, so cool. Uh, all right, more boxes. Man, I wish these guys would do these like this. Is this little? <laughs> what a funny little box! I, I want to show it to you because it's got addresses printed on it and monster font. But whatever's in here is gonna be tiny and cool. Okay, it's another one of these. Oh, a different one, but like a, a kind of skeletal scepter. Cool. Wow, we. That is nuts. So it's like, I don't even know what would be the core of it, like where this started. I guess somewhere down here, probably coming up. And then you've got like this big one comes off, then a second one, big one comes off. There's two big ones on the top. This is a great, great specimen. And the, the bottom's terminated. Everything is terminated. This is just a, a sea of terminations and crystals riding on crystals. Wow, that's a cool one. I can't believe how many different weird little chunks there are hanging out with each other. This is like a, it reminds me of a castle, like a little flying castle, or floating castle. Wow, 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 good one. All right, but wait, there's more. I'll just get real on it while I open my box. for the earth. Wow, we've got the window. Look at that, can you see the purple edge? I think I gotta put a light on this one. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. There's a window inside the, the fluorite, like a phantom cube. Oh, that's such a good one. The first time I saw one of these was on like a What's Hot in Tucson. This dude had a giant pink one like this, except in the middle of this, there was, it was, well, it was huge, first of all, and reddish pink, but inside the second square was a perfect octahedron in the very center that was just like another darker color. So it was like an octahedron and then a cube surrounding the octahedron and then another like cube like this around that cube that was just kind of like a, protective layer of like glass around the treasures that were inside nuts so what's cool about this one too is it also sits on a nice little druzy base you've got your host of uh probably granite or feld probably granite on this one and then a little druzy on top of that and then a nice fat little cube with that super cool window behind it Love that. Um, this may not be an unboxing. <laughs> that, is, that is not rocks, but uh, but I'll show you guys anyway because it's funny. <laughs> I wanted the Saitama One Punch Man uh, watering can. And they didn't have the green one, but this is the, it's the exact watering can, but it's just the wrong color. So, uh, 
I was thinking I'd get it and try to paint it my color. We'll paint it green like it is in the anime. But, uh, I don't know, these are pretty great on their own too. <laughs> um, I think that does it for the rocks, which is awesome and also a little disappointing because there's a package that I've been waiting longer for that I was really hoping was in there. And there's more octahedrons coming, and I was really hoping those were in there, the small octahedrons. I have like several kilos of small octahedrons coming forever, and they're not here yet. <laughs> and I want to do a bunch of cool stuff that kind of is gated by that, so that bums me out. But it's hard to be bummed out when you have these around. I know you guys missed the beginning, so we'll pull some other quickies back up and let you see. I guess... I'd say this is my most impressive, maybe this is what I think is, is, I don't know, the most valuable piece to me out of all that. This piece is amazing. Oh, next to that one. Well, this isn't the most valuable piece, but that's the most stunning to me. See, this is going to be my second, or top two, right off the bat. Um, let's put that one another really nice mica and aquamarine combo. It's another of my favorites from that. That one's definitely gonna be for sale, I think. God, I love it. I love it! This is definitely a new piece for me. My personal, because I really like that druzy. Can you focus? I really like how there's a cubic druzy on top of the crystal, uh, like the quartz druzy. There's two druzies down there, and then there's also the cubes, and then you flip it over for just a stunning, stunning piece. Yeah, I guess uh, those are probably my top top takeaways. Ah, now let's let's put two little guys, a couple little guys up front too. The tourmaline. Tourmaline Quartz, that insane skeletal one, um, that's smoky, oh definitely these, these are my other new favorite fluorites that I'm gonna have a really really hard time letting go of those clear ones, mm, I don't know if that one's quite, oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the Kunzite's gotta go on the uh, they're all my favorite. I think let's just let's just say that they're all my favorite. I can't, I can't uh, pick. What do I? Oh man, we have got to get to doing some live sales because I'm just buying crystals <laughs> that I want to keep all of, and uh, that's not gonna work. I mean, it is, but uh, I have a lot of crystals. So. Thanks for hanging out for that unboxing. If you saw anything you love, get in my inbox and uh, we can uh, talk about making something happen. Otherwise, be patient and eventually when I feel that everything is ready, then I'm gonna go ahead and do a live sale. Um, I guess I also just add that I'm the type of person that doesn't really rush things like that, you know? I'm gonna make it happen when it feels right. Though I do want to have like maybe some little practice ones just to get the feel for it before I go and have like a big one. Maybe we'll do a small one. I don't know. Um, I just go with the flow. You know, everything's worked out like that so far, so we'll just keep doing that. Enjoying these, having too much fun with these crazy wings and stuff, dude. Magnesium. Look at that. That is wild. All right. That's enough, it's been uh, extremely long. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for enjoying the uh, unboxing. Please like, comment, uh, do whatever it is on the platform you're on to get involved and uh, show your support. And uh, I appreciate all that. And I have a lot of fun doing this and I hope you have a lot of fun watching it. Or at least uh, you learned something or you know you got something out of it, I hope. Um, thanks again, have a great Memorial Day weekend and uh, take care everybody.